What's up everybody? How you guys doing? My name is Christian and this is Modified Gaming and look no further fellas. You found me. It's the new Halo Infinite CU29 update. Spirit of Fire in honor of one of the greatest and most underappreciated games ever made. Halo Wars. And check out what a beautiful loading screen. If you guys can't see it, it's because you guys are not on twitch.tv slash modified gaming. So please, head on over down here in the description. Subscribe, of course, to Modified Gaming here on YouTube. And follow us all over the place, including Twitch. And of course, everyone here on TikTok watching us as well. So let's waste no more time, even though I could stay here forever. And check out what this content update 29 has in store for us in the Halo Infinite store or shop. And right off the bat, you guys see that we have a new background with the exclusive Team Envy skin that none of you guys can get. <laughs> so if you guys are cool like me, be sure to hit an extra like on this video, leave a comment down below if you guys also have this exclusive never to be released again Team Envy skin here in Halo Infinite. And I gotta say, this thing looks amazing. I love it. I love this bluish hue to it. It's very Halo-y, so I'm glad that we have this. So, shout out to all the designers. But you guys are here for the shop. And I messed up last week, and I won't mess up this week. This week, we'll have no clickbait. This will just be a long-ass video of amazing Halo Infinite content. And I'm glad that you guys are here for the ride. So, let's head over to the shop. And before I forget, let me remove my face cam so we get no trolls in the comments. Everyone on TikTok can still see me, though. So, ha! First things first, guys. Let's go to the HCS offers because that's what I was talking about before. And for Season 3, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 new items here in the HCS store. I know right now they say 1500 but they're actually a thousand. The first one you purchase that's new will be 1500 but after that the rest will be a thousand and that's only because if we go over to Sentinels you can see the Dracon bandit weapon model that comes with it and of course you get a cross core coating for all of your cores including the brand new one which is the mark IV, and then this visor as well so for a 1500 credits initially you get the bandit model cross core coating and a cross core visor coating after that everyone is a thousand returning from season one are optic gaming phase clan cloud nine space station and sentinels for season from season one and now they are no longer locked to a kit you are able to get a sentinels cross core coating for both your armor oh my god there's the mark four Ooh. i know you can't see it david but it looks so sick if you want to see it go to twitch.tv slash modified gaming look at it oh my god and then you get it for your weapons as well. So if you guys don't have it, definitely get it. Wait a minute. I have this one. Why does it say that I don't? I have this one. I bought this one. I have the Optic Gaming one too. I don't know why they're still charging me for it. I have this one, Envy, and Sentinels. I don't know why they still want to charge me for it. That's crazy. And then, of course, everything from Season 2 is here as well. So in case you missed anything from Season 2, it's right there. And, of course... We want to support the HCS this season here on Modified Gaming, so stay tuned to more information on that coming within the next few weeks. We'll see if we're able to actually pull it off this year as opposed to the last two seasons that didn't really go our way. But anyways, let's go back to the shop. This is what everyone came to see. If you guys made it this far and are still here, hit like button, please. Video really helps out. Um, or if you want to leave a comment to troll, that also helps out as well. First things first, guys, is a brand new Super Bundle, 3,800 credits, where you will be able to get the Ardent Combo, the Paladin 
combo and the Valiant combo. You, you can see that I worked at a fast food restaurant calling everything a combo, but you get a bunch of crazy things. And we're going to go into each one individually, but I just want to showcase what you get as an exclusive item here for purchasing the Super Bundle. Exclusively in the Super Bundle is this retro Spartan emblem as a shoulder piece, like a shoulder hologram. Only for one shoulder, it seems. And then you get the same effect for the Spirit Sigil, which I actually had the special edition of Halo Wars. I have an actual patch that has this same logo on it, so it's pretty sick. And exclusively for the Super Bundle is this Forest Dragon coating for our, all your helmets. I, I personally really like this. I know uh, Clot Lord didn't really like it himself, but I actually really, really like this. I had a pair of Jordans that were called the Three Lab Fives that kind of had this snake design to it. Obviously, I'm a Kobe Bryant fan, so it has that like reptile skin look to it, and it's green, so it reminds me of a snake. Reminds me of like the Black Mamba, so I really like this. And the fact that we get to use it in Big Team Battle, there's three new Big Team Battle maps with this update. I, I could see us getting a, a good use out of this. And it even has it on the turret as well, so it looks really, really sick. I thought I was going blind. But individually, you're going to get all of these. So if you buy all of this together individually, it's going to cost you a ridiculous amount. So if you buy it in the Super Bundle, you're saving yourself about 2,000 credits or 20 credits. But let's go to the Ardent one. This one reminds me of Optimus Prime. We have a what looks like Mark V Zeta in a way, but a little bit more fatter, like around the, the cheekbone. But then this attachment is sick. It comes with the antenna piece. And people have really been liking the Frieza and cooler image on Instagram that you got me thinking of making other items as well. I have a couple of video ideas now. That I'll probably mention at the end of this video. But you get these shoulder pieces for your left. And then this one for your right. And now you see that all these shoulders have a cross core symbol on it. So with this update, all our shoulders are now cross core. So go crazy. Next up is this Isabel chest piece. Um, it looks like it has something for the helmet. But I can't really quite see it. And this is all for the Mark IV, guys. And a little antenna piece on the back piece as well. New knee pads, which are called Twisp. Yeah, all these armors are looking crazy. So this is going to be a long video. It's going to be a very long video. Let me make sure I'm recording. Check that out. It has a little uh, glow stick on the inside of the wrist piece. On the side, this is the Zeppo. And then here is what appears to be another attachment to the helmet, which is just the antenna without the eye patch covering it up. And last but not least is this charred rose um, armor coating as well. Cross core. 1800 if you want to buy it individually. Next up is Paladin. 1800 as well. Looks like to be the stock Mark IV helmet with uh, a different knife attachment here. So it looks like they split it up, what they could have been, but now since it's cross-core, they split up the different shoulders into different bundles. I don't know how I feel about that. I know a lot of people are going to be mad about that. But it looks like this one connects to the other one that was in the other bundle. Here's the Nera chest piece, and you can go on and on. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna have a lot of stuff to post on the item shop page. I'll probably won't post everything in one day. I'm gonna post it throughout the week, just so I have stuff to post like at ten in the morning. But this is pretty sick. This is pretty pretty sick. I'm still contemplating on whether or not I'm gonna buy this super bundle, but it does look like it comes with. Ooh, this one's cool. This was like a big boy headset. This is wearing the Astro A50 right here. Wireless. No wires attached to it. Got a bunch of lights on the side. And then the Slate Coast coating. Very mid-skis. But it's dope-skis. 
Yo, what's up, Tactical Tyler? Thank you for coming to the stream and the video. You made it to both. And last in this super bundle is called Valiant. So here's the Valiant Legendary Helmet. Clean. Firm blur, triplet, wrist piece. Uh, it's a little too bulky for my taste. But then this one is dope. It's like a beefed up version of the soldier one that we got back in the day. You get this attachment to put on, make it even more beefier. Another uh, shoulder piece with a knife attachment. As well as another Omega attachment as well. So this is called the Omega bundle, hence the Omega items to it. Here's a chest piece with two packs on it. New shoulder pads, or sorry, knee pads called Ulop. And then the Ashen Glory, which has just this gray with the yellow arms to it. Pretty basic. So all that for 1800 individually. If you buy them all, it would cost you, what, 36 plus another... It'd be 44... Wait, no, 54. 5,400 credits. Right? Can I even do math? Can someone, like, math check me right now? 18 plus 18 is 36. Plus 18... Is 54, right? Yeah, 54. So you save... 1600 credits if you buy the super bundle i know i said 2000 earlier but it's actually 16 16 dollars if you buy the the super bundle next up which is probably one of my favorite things in here is the stanchion check it out man it's the new legendary weapon model for the sniper it makes the sniper look super big man Kind of has that railgun look to it from the gun in Halo 5 and Halo 4, the railgun. I really like this. Check out this epic kill effect. It kind of looks like a grill from Halo Wars. Like how it would look on the battlefield when you'd click. And it's the same thing for the epic mythic effects that you can see little pieces on the ground. Similar to when you would click and have your Spartans go around on the map. Super sick. I really like that. Another throwback emblem here. Jolly Roger sig sigil for the shoulder. As well as the Phoenix sigil as well. Only on one side. I don't know how I feel about that. I wish, you know, if you're going to put it in the game, you should have had it, had it at least on both sides. You have distant affection, cross-core weapon coating, mid skis. And then you have the red team. So you had similar to the silver team. Now is the red team. Weapon charm. And then, yo. I think that might be... I don't know who that is, but someone from the team. But look at it. That's a dope emblem. You have a Spartan 4 with, uh, with a big turret just going ham on, on a Scarab? Super sick. Super sick emblem. 1800. Stanchion. A lot of good. I, I'm definitely going to be picking this up. Next up is Cherry Canopy for 300 credits. Cross-core coatings for all your vehicles. It's like a red, slightly, you know, lightish red camo print. I like it. I'm not going to buy it, but I like it. It's dope. If someone else buys it, I think it looks, it looks dope. If you wear this in Big Team, I will definitely get in your Warhog or in your Gun Goose. If you honk your horn at me and you're wearing the cherry canopy, count me in. I'm going in there. I'm going in there. Pull up on me like in GTA. Like I'm a stripper on the corner of, you know, 5th Street and Figueroa. Just come up and... And Mata's coming in. I'm coming in. Pull up. Pull up. Find me in the lobbies. Next up are, I think, five... Five more bundles, guys. Five more bundles that you can get in this update. And wow. One of them is 2,000. One is 1,600. And the other three are 1,800. I obviously don't have enough credits for all of these. So I'm going to have to make up my mind and see which one is the best. And my God. There's a lot of stuff to unravel. Here is Isidore. A new helmet with a new attachment on it as well. And of course, they had to throw in some new shoulders that are going to be going on every core.
But this chess piece, all this stuff is for Mark IV, exclusive to Mark IV. So anything that's not cross-core, like, you know, wrists, helmets, chests, and knee pads, all will be going to Mark IV. So you can expect everyone on Modified Gaming to have the drippiest Spartans for sure when it comes to all this. Ooh, this coding goes hard. Easy door. Is it worth 2000 Shoot. I don't know. What the heck is this? Luckiest charm. It's like a little voodoo doll of a scorpion. If anyone knows what this is, please let me know in the comments down below. I don't know what this is. I don't know if this is worth 2,000 credits. If you want to support 343 on their... What seems to be the last leg of Halo Infinite. By all means, do it. But I don't know if this is worth 2,000 credits for me just yet. Moving on is Ulrich. Ulrich also comes with the new helmet by the same name. New shoulder pieces as well. Sykes Delta Tarnock chest piece. This one's dope. It has that reptile texture to it. Two packs, like kind of like ready to eat meal packs on the on the chest. A Nitra wrist piece. This makes it look bulky. I like this one. And then Spirit of Victory. Cross core coating for both the weapons and the Spartan. It's dope. And then here's a mech. What was it called? I forget what this mech was called in the previous Halo games. I can't believe I forgot. But that looks sick. It's one of those mech suits, Spartan mech suits. It has the nameplate with a couple of wasps. So we may not have it. may not have the Hornet, but we do have the wasp in there. There's the helmet attachment, the other shoulder piece, the other utility piece. And then that's it. So that's, I forgot what these were called. It's been a while since I've played the other Halo games. It was decent. It was decent for eighteen hundred. Then next up is a Zacharias or Zacharias with the Zacharias helmet, the Zacharias antenna attachment, which is just like one piece of metal <laughs> on the side. It reminds me of the days when times were tough and your TV wasn't working. And you used to just go in the back and put a piece of aluminum in the back of the TV to try and get that extra signal. You know what I'm saying? Or at night when you're trying to see those other channels and they just weren't loading for you. If you know, you know. <laughs> Here's the new T-Guard shoulder piece. And then this dope. I like this chest piece. It's very bulky, very George-like with a knife and a collarbone attachment. You get a pole star. That's a weird name for this. Polestar Utility with a large package in the front. Carnation. Throw the flowers on there. Carnation knee pads. And this coating is sick. It's a mint green undersuit camo. And then a white oversuit also camo. Pretty dope. I like that one. And then copper slick. Visor, super dope, super dope. 1600 so far is probably the best bang for your buck, but I'm still not gonna buy this one either. Uh, next up is Wilhelm 11 items. This is the one that I already saw. This is a dope helmet. I believe this helmet was in Halo 4 and Halo 5, maybe just Halo 5. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it comes with some cool attachments to it that make it look even beefier. So, check this one out. It's called the dual attachment. It comes with a side piece for the cheeks as well as an antenna on the left side. You get that eight, uh, add air shoulder piece for both the left and the right. Of course, cross core. Nira sofas. Four sofas on your chest. And then this utility piece just goes hard, man. This, this is a must cop. You get a 12 gauge. How many rounds? Two, four, six, eight, ten. 10 rounds on each side, reloading for your shotgun, for your bulldog, super clean. You get the Grissom uh, gloves, and then the Hidden Hope armor and weapon coating for your armor and your weapons. And then check out this hexagonal gold Dawn Cloak visor, 
and the OG legendary overshield. I don't have the camo, but this overshield looks super sick. Throwback to Halo CE. This is a cop. 1800, definitely a cop for me. And last in this set of amazing bundles, or rather a bunch of bundles, is Epsilon or Epsilon. Epsilon kind of looks like a shrunk down Morrigan helmet. And then you get the Pomeroy shoulder piece for both the left and the right. You get a Project Sycamore attachment for this helmet. You get the Pop Rad wrist attachment. Utility piece, which makes the legs super bulky. Like, this guy doesn't skip leg day at all. You get the Ajka chest piece. Forest Hive visor. This kind of looks drippy. Kind of looks reptilian-like. And then, not a scarab, but a similar to a scarab for the nameplate. Okay. And then here's that smoke forest. So similar to the exclusive one that we got for buying the previous super bundle, you get this one, which kind of looks like Reptile from Marvel, like the Spider-Man. I might this this is dope. I kind of really like this one. If I had to pick two of my favorite out of these five, it would definitely be the Wilhelm and the Ypsilon. So both of these are 1800. I'm going to maybe have to cop one of them. Yo, what's up, Alex? Thank you for coming to the TikTok. For the weekly, half weekly, we have Cedar Mud, 600 credits, Cross Core. I like how they don't show all the coatings. It's just one coating and with a Cross Core symbol. And then Heat First, the ODST Weapon Charm, 600 credits. This week's weekly, or actually today's daily, is... Fairly cheap, 250 credits. It's uh, it's not Master Chief, but this might be... It might be Master Chief. It's called Atriox. Atriox's Grip. But if I'm not mistaken, I, I believe this is, a, this is a Mark IV helmet or a Mark V helmet. Looks like a Mark... It could be 4 or 5. I think it's this is a Mark IV. Anyways, it must have been uh, someone that got a hold. Atrox got a hold of this, ripped it off, crushed it. Uh, could be Jerome's helmet. I don't know. Maybe. I know someone will correct me, but that's what I have to buy. Hey, yo. And that does it for the shop. I know there was a lot of stuff to digest. Um, you know, I'll go over the, the weekly reward, which is kind of cool in and of itself. Uh, but before I do that, let's check out the Spirit of Fire Operation Pass. If you purchase the pass, if you buy the premium pass, which I'm going to do, it's 500 credits. And of course, you get the Halo CE uh, weapon kit for the AR. If you want to really throw it back, I mean, you got to you gotta cop that. We'll briefly go through this Spirit of Fire. You get a new emblem. Of course, the dreaded XP boosts. This one looks dope. You got a Spartan chopping up what seems to be part of a banished vehicle. Halo Wars nameplate? Fuck yeah. The Hellbringers uh, charm? Look at this nameplate, bro. Omega Team running through all these cool little nameplates. The UNSC Spirit of Fire. That's dope. Arcadia Falls, a grayish whitish blackish uh coating for your weapons some new knee pads a new chess piece this is dope sunset cloak kind of looks like dragoon but a little lighter cross core weapon code or vehicle coating a smaller package so you get the big package if you buy you get a small pp if you uh if you don't buy it <laughs> And then Sand Slate Wolverine cross court coating. Of course, the best friend. Two best friends for the uh, shoulder pads there. And the Archer helmet. And last but not least is the Archer helmet sycamore attachment as well. So this is all free. 
If you, the only thing you get out of it for buying the premium pass is, of course, the Combat Evolved Mark V, or Combat Evolved Assault Rifle, as well as unlocking the premium challenge slot uh, for your weeklies and, and, you know, progression and stuff like that. And, and speaking of weeklies, let's go to our challenges. There you guys have it, guys. Finally, people that always complain that there's nothing cool for a weekly, we finally have it. You can unlock a helmet. You can unlock a helmet from the Halo TV series, which is going to be launching on February 8th with a brand new season. And there you guys have it. The Kai helmet. Probably one of the coolest ones from the show outside of Master Chiefs, which unfortunately he takes off all the time. Um, but we have a helmet from the actual TV series. I like how they're releasing it now, building hype towards the season that's releasing February 8th. I'm looking to doing reviews of the episodes here on the channel, so, you know, if you're into the series or you're looking forward to people reviewing the series, expect that review here on Modified Gaming, but definitely get this weekly, jump in, play Halo Infinite. As you can see, there's a bunch of stuff that you can get, a lot of free stuff, and sure, a lot of stuff that you have to pay for as well, but, you know, for the people that have been complaining that there's not a lot of free stuff in this game, I have a video for you. I have a lot of different videos that I want to make now that the shop is going to be going a little bit, you know, a little bit slower, a little bit crazy. And I think the writing has been on the wall for the past season, really. And I think finally, just today, I kind of thought up of what I want to do. So if you made it this far, thank you. I love you. I send you big kisses. And to anyone still on TikTok or Twitch, Thank you. I send you even more big kisses for supporting me. Hit the like button if you haven't already. I still have one last thing that I want to talk about. So for those of you guys that stick around, extra kudos to you. But I want to talk about what I feel about this shop, what I think that it feels, what I think it means for the future of Halo Infinite, and what it means for the future of the content that I put out on this channel and on my Instagram pages. So while I talk about it, let's bring it up. Let's bring up the shop. Now, let me turn down this volume because it's a little loud for me in my headphones. But what this tells me that what this is telling me by seeing all this new stuff in the shop all at once is that they're not going to be really updating the shop at all for a while. This tells me that we're going to see the same stuff in the shop for the entirety of maybe four four weeks i'm not sure when we're gonna get another update i really don't now that we don't have seasons they're taking the gas off the pedal and they're shifting their focus into other halo titles that you know unfortunately are not going to be halo infinite sure there's still going to be a small team but they're not going to be putting out the same amount of content as they were if they were fully devoting to Halo Infinite. So, um, with that in mind, I've had to come up with different ideas of what I want to do to still put out content on this channel, still keep it shop-related, cosmetic-related for those that liked that kind of content, and then also just make it new for the new people that I would like to come to the channel and also creatively I have a few ideas of what I want to do and I just thought of it today and I think it's a perfect idea um, and it was a culmination of like different stuff that's been coming my way for these past few weeks um, I don't want to give it away but I think it's gonna be really fun and it's it's gonna have everything related it's gonna have cosmetic it's gonna have gameplay and it's going to have lore and story and I think a little bit sprinkle on top of a little bit of, of comedy that you can only get here on Modified Gaming. So if you're a fan of all that, then please keep sticking around with the channel here on YouTube. Keep supporting on TikTok and, and all our social media pages because without you, uh, this wouldn't even be possible. And honestly, without you, we probably have no reason to keep moving forward. So a lot of your comments and your feedback and... And your daily likes really do help out. You know, a lot of people think that, like, hitting this live stream doesn't do anything. But it really does. It it motivates us to keep going. Uh, it, it shows us that, you know, the, the work that we're putting into it still means something to somebody. So, yeah. This video is long. I'm going to cut it there. But um, expect more. 
more of the same, but a little bit modified in the future. So thank you guys. Hope you guys have a good one. Peace out.